Damn. Damn. Good boy. Dance. Dance. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. All right, that's enough. Good boy. Yep. One last one. There you go. Hey, uh, how's it going everybody? Uh, it's been a while since I put anything on my channel. And so I do have something I'd like to share. If, uh, if you're like me and you enjoy movies, well, we all know that the last year we haven't been able to go to theaters. So anyway, uh, I don't have a dedicated uh, theater room. So this is what I came up with in our house and maybe it will give you some ideas on how you can do this in your home. Uh, but uh, we've had to transform our living space and not only just a living space in the living room or uh, into, a, into our home theater to where we can enjoy movies uh, even though the theaters are closed. So this is what I came up with so I'm going to share it with you and uh, you guys can uh, maybe get some ideas on how you can do this in your home. But uh, I'm going to start out with by uh, taking all the covers off of these uh, clip speakers. They're all clips. And so I'm going to take the covers off because they just look cooler. Okay, so we've got all the covers off. Uh, we uh, keep the covers on all the time because we have grandkids and uh, they love those copper cones. So they like to jab with the, uh, a toy or their fingers at those, uh, those cones when the covers are off, so we keep them on all the time. But they do look a lot cooler, I think, when you have the covers off. But anyway, this is what we've come up with. And this system has taken me a long time to uh, to put together. Uh, just you know, one piece here, one piece there. Uh, I've gone through through the years. I've gone through uh, quite a few different uh, receivers and and like center speakers and right and left channels and and then uh, subs. So anyway, this is the kind of the the best that we've ever had. So. I'd, just thought I'd share it with you guys and uh, maybe you'll come up with your own ideas in your living space but this is our living room and fortunately in our living room it's it's long I'll show you a shot to the the back of this room but uh, it's a pretty long long room and that's one of the things that attracted us to this house when we bought it you know 20 some odd years ago uh, so uh, when we have movie nights uh, we have two uh, uh, reclining chairs on either side here and then we have the couch and sometimes we'll put a chair right here but we have a bunch of uh, folding uh, rocking canvas chairs that will fold out and put people in the back so if we have uh, quite a few people then then we'll put those out but most of the time it's just uh, the two recliners and this couch and so uh, it's just several of us that uh, watch movies. My wife and I watch a movie just about every night. So this is what we came up with. We have a 55 inch TV. Um, and, uh, and then uh, the screen is a, an elite, uh, just a, a manual pull down screen. It's 120 inch. I'll pull that down and let you see it right now. So anyway, that's uh, the screen when it's down and it's pretty big in this room. So it does look really good and uh, um, it doesn't impede the, uh, the sound. The center channel, as you'll notice, is kind of behind the screen there. But I compensate for that uh, by uh, just turning the center channel up just a little bit. Um, the receiver I can show you all this stuff close up. So I'm gonna show you the stuff close up uh, and show you this receiver. So I'm gonna take this camera off this tripod and show you that. So the receiver is a X3 
4500H. And uh, this is the best receiver I've ever had. Uh, I've had Sony and Onkyo, and so then I got this Denon. Uh, I've only had it uh, a few months, but this has been by far the best receiver that I've ever had, and uh, it really makes everything sound great. And the uh, system that they give you, uh, the Odyssey system, to configure uh, the speakers is really detailed and very good and uh, it with this room and the limited space and with all the things that are in the way of the speakers like the couch over here it does a really good job in balancing out all of the uh, all of the sound coming from all the speakers in the different rooms here so anyway and I got a uh, this is an AC infinity cooler that sits on top and as you see, we have a door that closes here, and so it's behind in this cabinet. So it could get, these things get hot. So I put this cooler on, and it has a rear exhaust. And this, this, this uh, um, entertainment center is open in the back. And so it exhausts the air out through the back. And so it draws uh, air through all the vents and stuff and exhausts it through the back to keep this receiver from getting hot. But uh, I really have been very happy with this receiver. So, okay, let's see what I'm going to show you now. So we got the center speaker here, and this is uh, a Klipsch model number RP450C. And I had a smaller one than this before, and uh, it just wasn't cutting it, so I got this one. And then uh, the right and left uh, tower speakers, uh, they don't even have these anymore. Uh, I tried to look them up, and nobody that I could find could sell them. Maybe you could find them on eBay or something like that. But uh, these were, uh, this right and left channel uh, tower speakers were some of the first speakers that I bought. Uh, probably two years three years ago and uh, anyway they're the R28F and then I got the subwoofers and I got two of them on either side and they're the uh, R12 at R12 SW subs so that's what I got for the subs and then the screen is a 120 inch elite manual pull down screen um, and then I have these uh, height or Atmos speakers that are up towards the ceiling and they're an R F uh, an R 41 S A is what they're what they are um, so anyway that's the speakers in the front the projector that we use is an Epson 5050 UB. As you can see, this room's pretty long, and there's uh, the two recliners. And then I have uh, rear channel speakers back in the back there, and they're behind the chairs, which is not optimum. If I had, if I had my way, I would have put the speakers all the way in the back there but I just couldn't get my wife to let me do that so they're relegated to being behind the uh, the chairs so but with the Odyssey uh, con uh, speaker configuration system uh, you just place the mic in different areas of the room and uh, it pretty much sets it up to where it sounds pretty good even though you have the uh, rear channels kind of being blocked by the the uh, the chairs back here but anyway these rear speakers take you over here these rear speakers I didn't take the cover off these ones there we go so the rear channel uh, speakers are towers and they're the RF 622 and uh, so anyway uh, that's the speaker setup and everything that we have here this is uh, what it looks like with the screen down all, I'm all the way in the back room by the fireplace and so in the back here 
uh, when we have a large group of people, uh, we'll put these, uh, their canvas uh, rocking chairs, full, they just, you just fold them out. And so it's just temporary seating. Of course, the people that are sitting back here don't get to enjoy uh, the rear channel uh, as well as the people that are sitting in the front part of the uh, living area. Uh, but there's a lot of people that just are not as picky as far as uh, the audio. So I always sit in front of the, uh, I always sit in front of the, that's my chair right there where I'm pointing. I always sit in front of the, uh, the rear channel speaker right there. And that's my spot. So, cause I'm kind of picky. I want to hear, you know, everything going on around me, but, uh, that den and receiver, out of all the receivers I've had, it's done the, the best job at, uh, at uh, the sound, you know. Uh, it just sounds, sounds great. I mean, you, with the Atmos, uh, you can hear uh, like helicopters sound like they're flying overhead. And then all the action movies with the gunfire and everything that come through the rear channels and all around. And it sounds pretty good, man. I really enjoy it. So... This is what I came up with uh, uh, during this time, but we can't go to movie theater, so it's the next best thing, I guess, and uh, we did it uh, in our living space. And uh, we have shutters uh, all around on our windows, and we close them up so we even can uh, watch movies during the day. Uh, we hardly ever do that, uh, but we... Uh, we have had like a Super Bowl party here, and so we'll shut all the shutters and darken the room as best we can. But this projector does a pretty good job. It's pretty bright. So uh, we've enjoyed uh, football games uh, on the big screen during the day. So it does a pretty good job with shutters of uh, darkening the room enough to where we can enjoy that. So anyway, that's my setup. That's what I came up with. Uh, for our home theater uh, using our living space uh, another thing I wanted to say is uh, the projector is 13 feet away from that screen and that's about the limit for this room and that size and I have a beam uh, it's a supporting beam uh, that sits in the ceiling up here so that's as far back as I could get the projector but this 120 inch uh, 16 9 aspect ratio uh, uh, screen is about as big as I can get in this room but that's good enough so uh, it looks great uh, I think it sounds great so maybe this video would inspire you in your living space maybe uh, to come up with your own home theater and I just I pieced this together over time uh, as I had money uh, I had just one sub for a long time and so I just bought this sub uh, uh, just a few months ago. I wanted two subs. And I had to stack the, the tower speakers on top of it. And I thought that might be an issue, but I haven't noticed any problems with that as far as the vibration affecting the sound. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I know I haven't put uh, any videos up for quite a long time. And it's probably been probably nine months. But uh, I just thought I'd share this with, uh, with you guys and uh, maybe it'll inspire you to do your own thing. And uh, if you would like to, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. And I'll try to do more videos more often. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.